Hi, Stitch Cuties. I'm Brittany. And I'm Julie. And, and together, together we're the mother-daughter duo of, of Stitches of Love. Welcome today to our really fun teaser video all about the new Hop To It block of the month. Are you so excited? I am. It was such a fun quilt to make. <laughs> and if you're wondering what the quilt looks like, take a peek behind us. You can see almost all of the quilt. We're going to share some details about this quilt and we'll go through a picture of each block. But the most important thing you need to know from this video today is to visit hoptoitbomb.com. So hop to it bomb, meaning block of the month, dot com. B-O-M. B-O-M. It's on the screen for you. Hop to it bomb dot com. What you can do before registration opens is share your name and email address. That will put you on our Hop To It VIP list, which means you're going to know details about the quilt, including pricing, and you'll also have access to register for the new block of the month before anyone else. If you are watching this video in the future, which happens with the power of video, you can visit that same website, hoptoitbomb.com, and once registration is opened, that will then point to all the details where you can actually register for the block of the month, including pricing, pictures, details, etc. So again, the point of this video today is to get you hyped up and really excited about the new block of the month. It's super cute quilt. It's so cute. Well, first, Mom, I have a question for you. Do you want to tell us about the process? So you collaborated with Amy Brucken on this quilt. Yes, um, it's been quite some time now. I called Amy and I said, hey, can we have some bunnies? And so she said, sure, I can draw you some bunnies. So <laughs> she drew some bunnies and as you'll see on the quilt, some cute chicks and you know, you can't, you can't just have only, you, you have to have everything that she draws, even though it was a chick, it just goes with it. You it's have to have it. Cute. Well, it's very fun for springtime. Yes, it's springy, but there, it does make you think Easter too, if you want to think about Mm -hmm. think of it that way um it's just super cute the bunnies have all their cute little personalities so the way you all collaborate together she shares some line art meaning her sketches in black and white on paper and then you translate that into fabrics into yeah. applique applique yeah and make the quilt maybe more than once <laughs> yeah this one had this one had some variations on it yes multiple times to get it just right, which I think you will agree when you see all the close-up pictures. And once you get to join the block of the month and start getting it delivered to your home every month, I think you'll agree. You both knocked it out of the park on this quilt. Oh, thank you, Brittany. But it was it was so much fun. For those of you real fast that don't know who Amy Brucken is, I don't know how you don't know who she is, you should Google her Amy Brucken Designs. She is primarily a cross-stitch designer. Super, super cute project. So if you're into cross-stitch, make sure to visit her website and check out all of her cute projects. And who's not into cross stitch these days? I know, everybody, likes, everybody. exactly. Everybody likes both. Exactly, so it's really, really fun to get to work with Amy. And we're now going to dive into the details, preliminary details of the quilt. Again, you wanna share your email address at hoptoitbomb.com. We are going to be sending more details via email to you. Once registration is open, that same website is gonna have all of the details, okay? Okay, so first up, I want to make sure the very first question everyone asks, how big is the quilt? How big is the quilt? It is 50 inches by 51 inches. Now, a lot of you did the Christmas Lane block of the month or are still doing that block of the month with us. It is the exact same size. The theory behind this is we want to be able to give you a quilt for all of your holidays. Hint, hint at what else is coming soon. So that you have one really great spot in your home or in your family's home that they can put the same size quilt up over and over. Well, they're primarily wall hanging. So if you have a exactly space, if you've allocated a, a wall for a certain size. Exactly. It just will keep you supplied here. Exactly. We'll keep you going through the year. Just give it time. <laughs> <laughs> so the quilt again is 50 inches by 51 inches. And when the block of the month is going, it will be a 14 month block of the month. So for the first 12 months, you're going to make one block every month. Then the 13th month will be the really fun big center block. And then the 14th box that you receive the 14th month is the entire, all of your sashing, your borders. There's applique in the border as well, which we'll show you a close up of. Um, and you'll be able to see after the quilt launches. 
And that also includes your binding. And so that's your finishing kit. Does this cool have buttons? It does. That box will also, the last month, will have your buttons as well because you sew those on at the very end. And why do we sew them on at the ends? Because when you quilt it, you don't want to jump over buttons. Exactly. Or if you give this to a long armor to quilt it for you, they will also be glad that you did not sew the buttons on before it was quilted. They're kind of like little roadblocks. Little daggers. Little boulders in the road. <laughs> when you're quilting. You got to dodge around them. Exactly. So this block of the month, just like the majority of our block of the month, there's two ways you can complete it. The first up is sewing machine applique. That's the classic way. Tell us about that. That's basically when you have the laser cut pieces as mm -hmm. we provide them for you. Pre-cut, pre-fused pieces. Ready to go. Ready to go. You use your placement guide. You put them on and iron them down. And then you use your sewing machine with whatever your favorite applique stitch is. Mm -hmm. I like to use a blanket stitch. And you blanket stitch around each piece. Exactly. To secure it to the background. And you'll also use your sewing machine to piece the blocks together, to piece your quilts. Right. That goes without saying, but just in case. <laughs> Gotta have your sewing machine. Exactly. Now, the next way is my personal favorite way, which is embroidery machine applique. And as you can see, some details are scrolling across the bottom of the screen for you. So what that means is for blocks 1 through 12, so the cute little blocks that surround the center, you actually use your embroidery machine with an 8-inch by 12-inch hoop. 8 inch by 12 inch, not smaller. <laughs> and with that, the machine gives you your placement guide. You build your pieces in the hoop with your pre-fused laser cut applique pieces. And then the machine is digitized to stitch in the perfect stitches for you and secure all of your applique pieces in place. It's really fun to do. You do not quilt this quilt as you go in your embroidery machine. That again is done just like with your classic version it's done at the end when you either quilt it yourself take it to a long arm or however you decide to finish off yes. the quilt no quilt as you go no quilt as you go then you'll use your this is for the embroidery machine applique version you will need to use your sewing machine to piece the quilt together and you will use your sewing machine to do the applique stitching on that large center block and that's because the pieces are so big you cannot easily reposition pieces bigger than your hoop Makes sense. And to get them accurate because exactly it has to fit together accurately because it's laser cut. It's very precise for the way it goes together. So it's you beautiful. You can't do it without with that many hoopings. Exactly. Without having a problem. Exactly. So the great thing about the center block is that it's a very easy applique because it is so large. We'll get to a close up picture of that for you and we'll show you how easy it is. So for those of you, again, you can do sewing machine. To create your entire quilt top we call that the classic version or you can do the embroidery machine version where you get everything in your box plus access to download your embroidery files for blocks 1 through 12. super fun to do that's my personal favorite I'm not trying to sway you in any direction <laughs> both I'm versions are very like fun way. exactly there's so much fun especially that's a whole nother video but if you have mom's sewing machine and you'd really love sewing machine app okay more tutorials on that to come. Okay, so now let's dig into some pictures. And mom, as I go through the pictures, do you wanna kinda talk about the cute fabrics and tell us about okay. it? So let me get, hold on please, let me get to that spot. So here we go. We are first up with the center block. Okay, the center block is, well, of course these fabrics are all from Riley Blake. Mm -hmm. And they are a combination of, well, they're all Lori Holt fabrics. I, and some Riley Blake solid color and basics. some of the solids, mm -hmm. yes. Um, the background fabric throughout the quilt is B cross stitch. And it's the white or cloud. I guess she calls it cloud. Mm -hmm. It's slightly off white. Barely off white. Um, a little soft white with um, pink or T rose. T rose at crosses. Cross stitches on it. And then the center is, golly, I don't remember what it's from. Calico? It's or a it? mixture of several different Lori Holt lines yeah. of fabrics that are really, oh my gosh, so cute. Super cute. Um, so it's a little chocolate bunny, and he has holding a carrot, flowers in her hair. I guess it's a girl. And there's a little, a hug, has a butterfly on the string and little tulips. 
So that's the center block. I love that you incorporated springtime flowers. You'll see that in the blocks. There's flowers, especially tulips. They're, mm -hmm. I think, kind of both of our favorite. I love tulips. Love tulips. They're so beautiful in bloom. Okay, so the next one. And now the, the next blocks I'm showing you are in no order. They're just randomly in order. So okay. surprise. Next up. Oh, my gosh. How cute are they? The two little chicks. Two chicks. Two chicks with a tulip. I mean, where can you go wrong with those? And what's really super cute, the darker chick that you can see on there is actually chick fabric. There's little white, chicks. tiny little chick straw on there. Super cute. And now that I don't know if you can see, Mom, in the center of the screen, they have a picture right here between us. Oh, hello. Hello. See this beautiful picture? So they also, y'all are getting a close-up if you're watching us on your phone or your TV. Oh, okay. Exactly. I guess I could look at the screen then. Oh, and this one just makes me smile. <laughs> this is a little chick standing on an Easter egg, just twirling around, having a big time. And that is a little gingham print, which is part of Lori Holt's new line of ginghams, which are yes. to die for. You'll see those There's in several of our cute, quilts. Real cute ginghams. Absolutely. And now, oh my gosh, how cute. This little guy has a little hat on. Super cute. Little flower on his hat. And he super like, cute colors. Oh, here I am. It's, it's adorable. Spring. I'm so happy. I love it. No more snow. <laughs> <laughs> this one's adorable. This is just a chocolate bunny with um, Easter egg. With, with little flowers. flowers on it. And the, the fabric, the color of that fabric is mac and cheese. It is called mac and cheese. That's a really fun color. We like that. This makes it fun. Every time we're cutting it or something downstairs, everybody starts talking about macaroni and cheese. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> And this is, this one's one of my favorites. So this cute. Little, in fact, I think I made this block first. Um, it's just a little gingham duck just sitting there like, hello world, here I am. And then we have a bunny in a basket because what's springtime and Easter without a bunny in a basket with flowers? Exactly. Again, super cute prints. These are all in the tea rose and then frosting color coral. and coral. Some coral. Really pretty colors and cayenne, the cayenne red. Yeah, that's what she calls her red. Cayenne. I love that because it's not like a. It's a soft. Red. It's a soft red. It's a very good red. Then mm -hmm. here's oh, she's so cute. This one's my personal favorite. Amy happens to like this one a lot too. It's really pretty. Yeah, we like this one. She's got little flowers in her hair, and um, sitting in front of some little Easter eggs. It makes me think of Mayflower poles. Isn't that what they're called? Uh -huh. And you'd have like the pretty flowers in your beautiful springtime dress on. I love it. And now this might be my favorite block. This one's Brittany's favorite. It looks like a little chocolate bunny hanging upside down. Don't you remember when you were a kid and you'd hang upside down at the playground? Mm -hmm. That's what it makes me think of. This little bunny's just having too much fun. And yep. of course, cute little tulips framing. Yeah. And next, okay, maybe this is also my favorite. <laughs> this, one, this one cracks me up. I've been calling this one Richard Simmons. Yes. If y'all remember, <laughs> any of you are old enough to remember Richard Simmons and his exercise, and he'd always have on that little the leotard, leotard thing, <laughs> jumpsuit thingy, whatever. And this um, is the first block in the block of the month, so this is actually the first one you oh, get to yeah, make. This will be the first one. Uh, but it, <laughs> it has um, a yellow tulip, of course, and this is, a, uh, this is, I think, the first collection that Lori's, maybe not the first, but mm -hmm. she's introduced purple. Um, Which I'm so glad about. very many purples, but it's called Taffy. The light that's in the um, the gingham little, is a taffy. little jumpsuit outfit, outfit mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, it's just super that's cute. Adorable. Yeah. Okay, look how fun these are. A couple more. Oh, this one's so cute too. It's a sweet little bunny on an egg. On an egg? Yep. Sitting on an egg. Sitting on it. You see his little legs. Little gingham tulip. Yep. Adorable. And then didn't mean to make it last but least, but this is the one that's going to be on your box this every month. This one is my. Absolute favorite. I love this bunny. <laughs> I think she's so cute. She's got little flowers on the side, her little, little ears flopped over. She's like, hello. <laughs> you know, little flowers in her hair. She's all ready for springtime. She's adorable. And so that brings me to this. I was going to say, I didn't mean to put that at the end, but what perfect timing. Maybe I should go like that. Absolutely. So, as you know, with our block of the months, when you join, we send you a welcome kit. The point of a welcome kit is because you're so excited. We know you want to get something in the mail right away. And it's a great way to practice. So you get used to reading our patterns, using your sewing machine for the applique, and or using your embroidery machine. You get to learn how the files work. And then you get a really cute pin cushion to keep by your sewing machine or your embroidery machine the rest of the year while you're making 
the block of the month. So this features a cute little bunny with cayenne red flowers. And she has little flowers in her hair. So cute. So this will be your welcome kiss. I think it's about five inches square. You are 100% right. Am I? Okay, good. I just wrote the pattern. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've made it, so it's lucky I remembered it. But she's made with all the same colors, I think. She is. Yeah, she's Maybe like a little shrunk. Slightly she's, different. Yeah. Yeah, she's shrunk quite a bit, actually. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, she's <laughs> shrunk. And she's a little different. Yeah. But super cute. So much fun. And so I like to have a cute little pin cushion. I mean, obviously, you need a pin cushion when you're sewing, and I like to have it sitting at my sewing machine and why not have a cute little little bunny saying hop to it hop to it and keep stitching hop to it hop to it so again if you are interested in this block of the month you will go to hop to it bomb.com before registration you're going to share your name and email address that will put you on our vip list where you will find out all of the details including pricing and when registration opens via that email list after registration opens, if you are watching this video in the future, you can go to the same website and accept then after registration is open, it will actually point you to the registration. But you want to join the VIP list because we have really cute pictures set up to email to you. You're going to get to register before anyone else knows that registration is open. So very exciting. You want to show them the box? Let's show them the box. So the boxes have not arrived yet, but we have a printout of how cute they are going to be. And I know every time we launch a block of the month, I'm like, oh my gosh, this box is cuter than all the other boxes. And I genuinely mean it every time. And then I see she this box and I am obsessed with this box. It's so cute. Are you ready? Dee -dee -dee. Hop to it. It is so cute. So we have the bunny that we were just talking about. You have your hop to it. Notice the cute little bunny ears on the H. It's made especially for you by Stitches of Love. The back of the box where it's folded will have a cute little print of fabric. And then when you open it, this is my favorite part of the box. Do you want to read it? It says, everybody needs a friend who is all ears. How cute is that? Is that not sweet? Pretty thought so of fun. I love, love it. Well, I didn't invent it. I found it online. Oh. I Googled. I Googled well, really cute quotes well, and I she saw that. Putting it on the box. So that's exactly. That's I like I, mean. I like for when you all to get these boxes. When you open it, there's like a little funny saying that makes you smile. We could put that little fabric on these flaps too. I can. That'd be cute. Cute. I think they actually print it here too, where it would be on the inside. Yeah. Okay. Well, it if might not be on the first round of boxes. If they haven't <laughs> produced them yet. I was gonna say it might be on the second round of boxes, but that's a really cute idea. I love it. So if you're not familiar with our block of the month, they do come in a custom box every month, which is just really fun. We want it to feel as though you're getting a really special present every month in the mail. You get everything you need to make the block that month, except for buttons. If it has buttons, like mm -hmm. these, these bunnies all have buttons. eyeballs. <laughs> um, the chicks have um, French knots. Uh, or no, it's just like one stitch of black thread, I think. But the buttons will be in your finishing kit. So included in your block of the month, you will have everything to make your quilt minus the backing, which will tell you how much backing you do need. But it's so much fun to talk about the laser cut pieces. Everything is pre-fused with Solky's Perfect Applique, which is one of their newer products. And I'm loving it. It's very over the moon light. about it. Very, very light. I wish y'all could feel this. It's, it's incredible. I mean, if this is... You'd never know there was fusible, fusible on there. there. Yeah. It's just really incredible. It's lovely to work with. You'll enjoy sewing through it for sure. And then everything. It's not, it's not gunky like some fusibles can be. Mm -hmm. It's great. And included in your box every month is going to be a full-size placement guide. You'll also re re receive all of your applique pieces reversed and outlined. So in case you want to make this again and cut out the pieces yourself, you have all the tools for your pattern to do that. And then you get all of your fabric, sashing fabrics, binding, the applique, the buttons, all the good stuff. So again, you'll wanna visit hoptoitbomb.com. Right now, before registration opens, you're gonna be sharing your email address with us so we can keep you updated, give you special details before anyone else knows. And then after registration opens, that same website is gonna take you to all the details of the block of the month. Did we miss anything? 
I don't, don't think so. I don't think so. So again, this is a collaboration with our friend Amy of Amy Brucken Designs. Take a look at her name right above my head. If you're not familiar with her, make sure to check her out. You're going to be obsessed with her work. She's fun. She's so much fun. So much fun. She did uh, the Boo Crew. And that. Christmas Lane with and us. And then we had one before Jingle All the Way. Is that what it was We called? did Jolly, Jolly Jingles, Jingles. Jolly Jingles. And Snow Buddies. Snow Buddies. And I feel like probably some more. Maybe a, some, maybe a few pillows or something. We yes. had a stitchery that she did. Snow, all my friends are flakes or something like that. Oh yeah, she we've did. done several projects. So she has, she has quite the cute sayings with her stitcheries and things. Absolutely. And now, mom, there are some comments, a bunch of comments. Let's make sure and say hi. Okay. I saved all the comments for the end, just for those of you watching the video after. It's fun to get through all the details and then do all the comments. So I'm excited to see who all is joining us today. Oh, wow. Stephanie, so she says it's so adorable. Thank oh, you so much. And thank you for the sweet email. Stephanie sent us the sweetest emails. Yes, oh, I loved it. Stephanie. <laughs> and then we I have. I love seeing your comments on Facebook because they're always so pleasant. And I nice. know we like nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Anita says hello, hello, hello to you, Robin from Maryland. Oh wow, I know. And then hello from Arkansas, Joan. Hey, I want to go to Arkansas. I know. Oh, Australia, it's been a long time. Hi, oh, Nancy. That's exciting. Nancy. Yes, I remember you, Nancy. I know. This is fun. I love it. And then Anne, hello from Oklahoma. Hey, Anne, how's it going? Libby Williams, hello, y'all. Hey, Libby. Oh, hi. <laughs> and then let's see, Linda says, I love this, but was really hoping the new one would be in Bordry. Okay. It's How many fun. months is it coming? Two to three months? Oh, yeah. You know, guys, I tell you, the, the thing with embroidery is, you have to stitch it all? It seems to be that it turns out to be me to be the one to stitch it because I can't choose the colors until I'm like in it. In it. And so I can't just like give a block to somebody and go here to do this because I may not like the color there because I know what the color was on the other one. So I'm trying to make everything look like it's going to be this nice cohesive mm -hmm. thing. And so I'm the hold up. No, I it's am the hold up. It's it's a going to of, be worth the wait. If if you can, you know, stitcheries take a while to stitch. What's fun about the stitchery that's coming is where um what I'm excited about is the threads in them. As you know, we like to put the embroidery threads in the kits, and it's gonna have really fun, beautiful variegated, blendable threads yeah, in there. There's some there's some new colors that um, are in there. It's just it's a very cute. Very cute. It's drawn again by Lindsay. So yeah, thank you for mentioning that, Linda. And we will. It's coming. It's coming soon. I um, promise. I just need to stay home for many, many days and stitch. Maybe we should put you on house arrest. Yeah, I got a lot done one time. I you was have the furniture. Just sit on your couch with your yeah. <laughs> with your comfiness. Yep. Okay, Diana. Where does the email go? It goes into our email list, and that's it. Just us. It's our it's and our website. Thing. Exactly. It's, no, it's nobody else's. You will never get spammed. No it goes to us only. Exactly. It's just us. We don't yeah. share with anybody. That's I a promise. very good question. Absolutely. That is a really good question. Yeah. So it will put you on our main list, but more importantly, it's going to put you on our hop to it VIP list, which means you're going to know all the details before we are launching it to everybody else. It's like a chapter. Oh yeah, like a little segment. Yeah. A little chapter you're within. You're going to the book of stitches of love, but you're going to the hop to it chapter. I love it. Yeah. It's like pass go. What like a monopoly? Pass go straight. Go straight to boardwalk. Yeah. Go straight to hop to it. Yeah. There you <laughs> go. Hop to it. And then and he just says it's windy and sunny in Georgia. It's been very windy oh, here. Yesterday I thought the trees were going to blow down over here at the office. And our new little plants. We have new little plants like squash and strawberries. And my husband was very concerned for them. Mm -hmm. I was not so much concerned for them. Still hang on. Yes. Robin says so cute. Thank, Thank you. you. And then Linda says, so cute for a baby quilt. It will be so sweet. And what I love, again, we mentioned that the size is the same as Christmas Lane. And then we have several other quilts that are going to come out in this series that are the same size. And the whole idea. Well, you could do a nursery and change it so much. That'd be cool. Oh, it would be really sweet in a nursery or a kid's room. Mm -hmm. The whole idea is that you can have one place, like in your foyer or in your family room or in a nursery or a bedroom or a guest room and be able to change it with the season. So Stay with us and we'll get you through all those seasons. Or if you have a playroom for the grandchildren or mm -hmm. your own kids. Yeah. I would put it in my house. And I don't have kids. I would use it. 
I like it. It's beautiful. I think. Robin says, adorable. Libby says, it's so cute. Thank you. And Caddy says, hi from New Mexico. Is this just done on the machine or can you applique them on? So you either use your sewing machine to applique or your embroidery machine. Because it's pre-fused. Exactly. With the fusible on the back. So. If you wanted to hand stitch through them because now they're done with the sulky perfect applique, it's a very lightweight fusible web. Very soft. You could, I think, we have do it by hand if you wanted to. We have customers that do that even before we have this perfect applique came out. Yeah, they with the heat and bond line. heat and bond line and they were stitching, hand stitching it that way. Mm -hmm. But um, it is prefused. And to tell you, the pattern is designed like the instructions walk you through sewing machine applique or embroidering machine applique. So the pattern does not include um, instructions for hand applique. But if you know how to hand applique, you, you know how to use, do it. You can do it. Exactly. But you would also receive the, yeah. Exactly. And Diana says, greeting. She is loving this new block of the month. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Fun profile picture, too. I love it. Look who it is. It's Amy. It's Amy. Hey, Amy. We're well, talking about you, girl. Another darling quilt. I love it. Hey, Amy, you should do this in a cross stitch. It's not already a cross stitch, is it? I don't think so. I don't think so either. It would be fun. Lou says, it's beautiful weather here in Mississippi. No humidity. Isn't that great? We don't have it either. It's not bad. How's my hair? <laughs> Libby says she shared it. Thank you. Astrid, hi. Astrid's my sister-in-law. Hey, Astrid. Astrid. Hi, Astrid. And then let me say she loves the box. Thank you. We um, had a lot of ideas for the box. And then sometimes you start putting them, the ideas together. And as you start doing it, something totally different comes out. Like this isn't what I pictured at all, but better than what I pictured. Right. Yeah. It really is. Like it's yeah. funny. Like when I laid down the base of the um, frosting pink, I was like, oh, kind of changed everything. And then sitting in here just now, I thought we should put that on the flaps too. Yeah, exactly. The flaps right here are going to be yeah. printed. So I, or I could even do a different and that is print on each one. That print is fabric that's in the quilt. In the quilt. Uh, Raleigh Blake has graciously told us that as long as it's on the quilt, it can be on the box. It's in the quilt, we can put it on the box. If we buy enough of it, it's allowed <laughs> on the box. <laughs> all right. Then Libby said she's saving all of her boxes for Christmas presents. Good oh, idea. Oh, yes. Anita says she loves bunnies. Me too. I was wishing we had a little bunny here to play with today. Hop to it bomb.com for Sheila. Just telling you, hop to it bomb.com. And then, really cute, I'm so behind on previous quilts, just finishing edgies and have Christmas Lane and Garden Moments to work on. Should I or shouldn't I? Well, I think you know our answer is going to be you should. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's really fun. For a little while, though, so you can wait a little bit. Exactly. And those are all really fun quilts to be working on. I loved edgies. Yeah. Love Christmas Lane. Love Garden Moments. We're almost to the first round of finishing kits for Garden Moments. Next month, or is next month? June is the first round of finishing kits for everybody. I love that. And then, when do we sign up? So, put your email on the registration list, on the um, VIP list at hoptoitbomb.com. And then, we're not officially telling when registration is opening, but it's very soon. It's a surprise. Why are we telling? Well, because I don't tell the date just in case something goes awry and getting all of the materials initially, like the boxes, all the fabrics. Okay. There's a lot of pieces to manage and make sure everything is see, I just laser. That part of everything. Yeah, we don't tell you until it's 100% everything's in the door. Okay. Gotcha. If something's stuck on a boat, I don't want to have to push something. Yeah. So not a very fun answer. That doesn't but happen often, but right now something is stuck on a boat. So no more than one. <laughs> oh, I am only. I don't know what's Monday. happening. I went to the Panama Canal and I caused a traffic jam. I'm just kidding. Move on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Libby's Patricia. Patricia. You said, li, li, Patricia. Libby says you should do it. There we go. <laughs> that was hard for me to say. Thanks, Libby. <laughs> she wanted the hedgehog. I know everybody wants the hedgehog. We could, we should bring the hedgehog back. We'll see how that goes, everybody. <laughs> we have lots of cute fabrics now to choose from. I know it would Can be. Can you tell I want to bring the hedgies back? I know it's a lot of work to redo twenty six patterns. It's for not me. that. You just have to say this fabric is substituted. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sandra. She says hi, lovely ladies. Oh, hi, Sandra. Hi, Sandra Copeland. Oh, Sandra called me and I didn't get to call you back yet. Oh, you want to know what she was doing? Probably playing with her new furniture. 
Well, or adjusting art that I you know, hung you, up for you. heard of spring cleaning? I'm spring tossing. Spring deleting, like spring tossing, and then cleaning comes after tossing. You call it spring donating because you're donating a lot. That too. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and CBC is yay and poetry. Woohoo! Can't wait. She's patient. Good job. Good. There we go. <laughs> it won't be long. It won't be long. And then Caddy says, "Looks like the uh, oh, like the others I have done through you. Yes, absolutely. Sewing machine and the embroidery machine, or." Um, well, the setup, the layout is what she's referring Absolutely. to. Absolutely. The layout's the same. Should we give a teaser of the next one in the series? No. Okay. Sorry, I'm not allowed to tell you what the next one is. I haven't finished drawing. But it's a holiday. So or think of what holiday is. Oh. Or is it? It's a season. No. Oh, okay. There is one that's not a holiday slash season. It's all year. Okay. Is that next? Maybe. Hmm. And then Cindy says, so cute, love it. Are we going to bring the hedgies back? We are, if I have anything to say about it. I will give a definitive answer when we know the definitive answer. Oh, that's one of those horrible answers. It's just the truth, y'all, I'm sorry, we don't know. Yes, maybe. <laughs> Where do we sign up? Well, right now, put your email address in to hoptoitbomb.com. And then Helen, once registration opens, you'll be the first to know once we have your email address. And then you can use the same website. That's where registration will be open when it's open. And it should be this month. Yes, that is the goal. Yeah. Well, actually, the goal is we'll actually be out of town when it's on chain because everything will be ready to go. Move on. Move on. There we go. Libby says, email sent. Yes. And then, of course, yes to the hedgehog. Yeah, I know everybody. We're really <laughs> going to work on that. <laughs> so this is such a cute um, quilt. Let me see if I can be real fancy. This is a little teaser. Hop to it. <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? Ah, okay. You can tell she was playing with graphics today. I worked very hard to make it very fun on the screen. So again, I know you're probably going to want to see pictures of the full quilt. You want more detailed pictures. If you sign up for the email list, you are going to get those. Hint, hint. You want to sign up for that. And then, of course, once registration does open, all of that, all of the sneak peek pictures and everything will be public. Yeah, and on this right here, you can't see the entire top of the quilt. There is a bow up there just like... Um, just like Christmas lane. Christmas lane. Except it's pink. That was a fun that was a fun hint. It's like pink. these pinks, I think. <laughs> it actually is those exact two. Yeah, that's why I did this. I know. I can't remember what these prints it's all new fabric, so it's all new names of what they are. So I don't remember exactly what they're called, but I can tell you the colors are really fun names, like frosting, taffy, yeah, cayenne, things like that, or named after people. People. Cousins, some of Lori's cousins. And what is, there's one of the ginghams that's a Cassidy. Isn't that Lori Holt's daughter's name? Uh -huh. That's my favorite gingham right now is the Cassidy gingham in all the colors. Oh. Cassidy is one of the cute, small, I think that might be a Cassidy. It's a really good gingham. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to learn all the new names. Anyway, it's fun. Yes. I love being able to use the Lori Holt fabrics. It's very fun. So without further ado, I think we've covered all the sneak peek details. So more to come about so this beautiful quilt. we hope that you quilt. like this. Amy hopes you like it too, I'm sure. We should do a fun um, live interview with Amy. Yes. Amy, if you're still listening. <laughs> that would be very fun. I bet everybody would like to hear how Amy approaches drawing things and how she does, you know. Absolutely. All that. I think so. Amy, if you're still here, <laughs> we, we're going to hit you up. We've got something to bring you to do. Yeah. <laughs> if we figure out how to do a Zoom, maybe we'll do Oh, a no, Zoom. I can do it in this. Okay. I there know. Very easy. See? Yeah. We did it once, I think. Yeah, we did it with Lindsay. Yeah. That was fun. Did we do something with Amy, too? No? Okay. Oh, maybe we did. I, did I forget? I, maybe. I don't know. Well, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this. I hope that you are um, super excited, excited about this quilt because we are excited that it's done and hope that you love it. Think it's as cute as we do. It's adorable. Right now, while I'm digitizing, it's going to be hanging in my office. Yeah. I'm 
love it. Okay, well, I think that's it. Happy stitching, everybody. Mm -hmm. And as always, oh, I said it. Oops. As always, happy stitching. What am I saying? Happy stitching, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye.